Hey there guys, William Ferno here, and I'm back with another LEGO Hero Factory Brain Attack review. This time it's on the awesome set, Bruiser. So let's get to the bag first. Picture a Bruiser, uh, LEGO Hero Factory symbol going down the bottom, Brain Attack symbol right there. And we have Bruiser, comes with one of the orange brain thingies. Uh, ages 7 to 14, number is 44005, and he's... 62 pieces. It's the largest villain we've had in a bag. So, um, let's get to the character now. First off, I want to point out that this set is based off, whoops, this set is based off rocks and a lava, uh, thing. So, uh, we have this new piece here. This is a really cool new piece for mocking if you want to make it more rock characters. Um, just normal style legs down here. Um, we have this. It's actually a nice touch, even though I wish they did some to make this maybe a longer piece and cover up that down there. Um, wasn't the best choice of a small three-sized piece like that. But it's cool to have, I guess. Um, and then for the chest, it's kind of covered up by these uh, spike things. You can... You can kind of push these out. You have to move Bruiser's head a little bit, though. That's why I think they went a bit too much on the bulkiness on this one. Because if you push him in, it's going to hit the chin of the head. And you're going to have to pose him in a way where it doesn't hit the chin. And there's not, there's just a lot of stuff right here. It kind of makes it hard for the head to move. It can only easily move this way. And even if you do that, this brain thing will want to come out of the back. That's one of the downers about this set. Now, this arm... Very skinny. Doesn't look much like a bulky rock character to me. This weapon is just kind of lazy right here. Um, really is lazy. Not sure if I like that. Then this arm. They went totally bulky on it, which is the opposite of this arm. I mean, look at that. It like... Hold on, I gotta see something here. And then, yeah, so see, this is this is a cool arm. It's just that... This arm cannot move anywhere whatsoever. It cannot move this way. It cannot It can't move this way. It can't move that way at all. You cannot bend the elbow at all. You, can, you can't even, like, uh, turn it across his chest. It stays in that specific area. And on the back here, they, they did that. They did that because you take this mess of stuff on the back and you just push it like this and the arm goes forward like that. Like if I can show you from an angle here, you just kind of put your finger back here, find the red ball thing, and just push it back, and it does that. The only problem is, another thing, this bulkiness piece gets in the way. This red little, this orange red piece wants to, wants to hit that, so you have to angle this in a way where it doesn't hit that at all, which is okay. You can angle it in a way like that, but it's kind of, it's all like mashed up on this army. It looks cool from an angle. See, it looks kind of cool from that angle. The whole set looks fine from this angle. Turned around, you see this Technic thing here. The only thing good about this uh, lift arm is that it's in a color that fit, that suits this character. The only part is when you turn it at an angle, you can see, I don't know if it shows up on my camera, but in the light, you can see that blue axle. Blue to the axle. That's one of the bad parts. Mostly, this mess of pieces covers up the back with this thing, so I have no problem with the back. Personally, I'm not sure about the legs, though. They didn't put much coverage on the legs. And then, the head was built in a very new new way that I really, really like. Let me just take some stuff apart here. It's not going to take long, don't worry. Um, at all, it's not going to take long at all. There we go. So you take this new orange brain thing, which I was really excited to get. It's a really cool piece. Um, you just to take this new head that has... Uh, an axle hole right here, an axle hole right here, an axle hole on the sides, and and then a pin right here, where it, that's where you connect the visors on the heroes. You just take this uh, rubber spider thing with a red plastic on the inside, and you just kind of put it on the axle that is located on the top of the inner head. And then you take this new mask without eyes, molded into it. Hold it up to the light so you can kind of see the mask a little bit better. You just you basically put it on like that and then the the brain the brain's eyes 
are now in his. So that's a cool little feature right there. Alright. And then the mask looks completely fine. I see no problem with the mask. Completely, completely fine there. Um, now I want to uh, go over something, just a little, little something here. If you go to brickset.com um, and you uh, go to 2013, you click on sets, and you click on 2013, and then you click on Lego Hero Factory, you click on 2013 there, you will see that it has 15 items in it. The pictures are not out yet, but it revealed that we have, um, let's see, like seven new sets coming. One of them is not revealed, I'm just guessing. We have Jet Raka, we have uh, Stormer, Evo, we have Surge, and the three new villains, Frost Beast, Aquagon, and Dragon Bolt. So those look like some pretty cool uh, names right there. You can check out Lego Jinx Mock of Jet Raka. Looks okay, but I think he should try to use a bigger head, even though the head in the Raka is really small. So overall, I'm going to go over my thoughts on this set. My personal thoughts, um, colors, 10 out of 10, they're fine. Pieces, 10 out of 10, you get lots of new pieces for this set that have never been used in Hero Factory before. Um, weapons, I give that, each weapon is 5. 5 out of 10, I don't really like this weapon, it's too small. So, uh, and this, this is a nice bashing weapon right here. So, 5 out of 10, and then overall, I'd give this set a seven and a half out of ten because I really I mean like Lego Jang said this is what you want right this this is on the bag this is what this is exactly what you want this is exactly what you see this this was gonna be one of the best villains of the series no it's not it has some kinks that Lego has to fix up even though it looks fine so yeah um, I'm gonna wrap this review up and charge my camera because it's running low battery right now so yeah, this has been my Hero Factory review on Bruiser, and I'll see you guys next with Ferno XL and a special little announcement. See you guys later. Bye.